You gotta be hungry! Will it be easy? No. Will it be challenging? Yes. The people that are living their dream are finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams are the people that know if it's going to happen, it's up to them. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running after their dreams are the people that are hungry. You gotta be hungry! What do you want me to tell you? That it's gonna be a picnic? No, it's not. It's going to kick your butt? Yes, it is. Are you going to want to die? Yes, yes, that's a part of it. But that's just what you must go through in order to get where you want to go. And guess what? You are strong enough to do it. This dream you got, whatever you want to do, will it be easy to just run out there and do it? No. Will it happen overnight? No. Will it be a struggle? Yes. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. People just don't want to fucking exercise. People have this extreme feeling in their mind uh, when it comes to their associations with exercise. It's not just bad for you physically, it's also bad mentally. The option to fuck off is available and you did it before and you're probably going to do it again and you'll get mediocre results not just in that aspect of your life but maybe in all aspects of your life because you take a path the path of the healthy person or the path of the fuck off there's so many different things that you can do to make yourself better your body is like a race car that you can juice up yourself like you can add the fat tires you can add the improved suspension you can beef up the horsepower in the engine you can do all that yourself or you could just choose to have this shitty body that's always falling apart on you. But the key is to fight it, not to give in. Don't give in to that resistance. To fight, just to fight that resistance. Every day you do so, you have won the battle for that day. I'm willing to die for this shit. I don't care if I pass out, puke, faint in the gym. You have to be consistent. You have to be dedicated. You have to be willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to be the fucking best. If you want to be average and fucking miserable, that's fine. But don't get in my way and don't fucking slow me down. Stay away from people who have no ambition, people who try and tear down your dreams. These are people that are just scared you will be successful. And don't have the confidence to be anything but a judgmental fuck. Tell me I can't do something. Tell me I'll regret what I'm doing. Tell me I won't be successful, please. I'm thankful for the doubters, the haters, the naysayers. The mediocre motherfuckers that are just gonna sit there, creep, and talk. I love you all. Man the fuck up, have a killer instinct, and dare to sacrifice your life and everything you have to be the best at what you do. You have to be crazy. You have to be unrealistic. You have to be willing to do whatever the fuck everyone else won't do. Have the vision, believe in yourself, and take fucking action. You guys are stuck in a certain place right now. Take a leap of faith. Take a gamble on yourself. Believe in yourself and go after what you want. And don't fucking stop until you achieve it. It's the people that stop or the people that fail that, that miss out on these opportunities. That's when you let success slip through your hands. You cannot take no for an answer. You cannot take no for an answer. That's the bottom line. The success is earned, it's not given. And you gotta work your ass off every single day to earn the life that you want. I'm still working this day to earn the life that I want. I'm not done yet. No matter how much success I have, I'm not to where I want to be. Emotionally, financially, spiritually, everything needs to get better. And I'm gonna, I'm dead on focused to make that thing happen. And I'm gonna work every single day to make that happen. And I encourage you guys to do the same, you guys. Finish your set. Ugh. Come on. 
It don't get any easier, it just gets harder, so suck it up. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. Now you're working. Now you're working. Four. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Drop it. One more. Up. One more. That's it. That's how you do a set. That's how you do a set. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Fuck, man. Get out of here. We're not just building bodies, we're building characters. So, bodybuilding is not just about how big you can get. It's about mental strength and mental toughness. I think if you don't have mental toughness, you're in the wrong sport. I think there's a, for me, it's been a mental toughness that's come with maturity. I just love it, man. Yeah, I know that sounds so stupid and so cliche and too simple an answer, but you don't have to get motivated if you love something. Like, there's nothing to get motivated about. I, I love to be there. It's just the way bodybuilding is. I'm a competitive person, and I want to be better. You guys that are out there, you're competing, you're getting ready for shows, you're hungry, you're dieting, you're tired, you're whatever. Just stick it out because when it's all said and done, you're the only person who's going to know if you didn't cheat. You're the only person who knows that you gave it 100%.